Hi. Thanks for the introduction, RDMB. Thanks for asking me to speak tonight. So hi, everyone. My name is Sue Ann, and I tell stories with moving images. On a typical day, I collaborate with a variety of different people, and together we create work that takes shape in the form of short videos, films, interactive projects, and anything that involves a time-based element. These here are some examples. Tonight, however, I'm going to focus on a more personal project that I completed late last year about something that really hits close to home. I had the opportunity to spend three months in Montreal to create a short animated film with the National Film Board of Canada. And if any of you are familiar with the NFB, thank you, it's a magical place for auteur animation filmmaking. Um, the program I was selected for is called Hot House, and the challenge is to create a one-minute film in three months. Now, one minute doesn't sound like a lot of time, but once you break it down, that's 1,440 frames at 24 frames per second. So we had no time to waste. Each year, uh, Hot House has a different theme, and our theme was Reveal Thyself, and the parameter was Abstract Expressionism. So we were challenged to explore ideas that were not only highly personal, but also to tell a story in an abstract way, focusing on the visceral qualities of storytelling. So the film I made is inspired by my battle with um, uh, eczema, which I've had all my life. For those of you who have it too, or know somebody who does, it's an extremely uncomfortable skin condition that is accompanied by an uncontrollable itch. Um, it's not usually something that people like to talk about, but many people suffer from it in varying degrees. And uh, young kids get bullied, and sometimes it even can lead to depression. Well, I know that in the grand scheme of things, it isn't a matter of life and death, but for some people, it's an everyday reality and something worth talking about. Um, sometimes it's enough to just know that somebody else understands, and that's what makes storytelling and filmmaking such a powerful thing. When a story resonates, it brings people together, and it helps to start a dialogue that might otherwise be hard to approach. The title of the film is um, Itch, and I'm just going to wait for the next slides to pop up here. Okay, there you go. And Demon Jason is uh, itch in French. Because I was making it in Montreal, we needed a bilingual title, and so that's that. So I chose to use ceramic clay as a medium because I felt that it best suited the subject matter of the film. I could get different consistencies in the clay and allow to, me to create a depth that I wanted to create in the textures of the film. Um, I shot the entire film under the camera and did as little post-production as possible, just a little color correction at the end. Um, okay. Right, okay. On the left is a picture of my makeshift setup at home with a couple chopsticks and a shelf. This is me setting up for a test. And on the right is an actual room that I spent three months working in. Uh, prior to this, I had never worked with ceramic clay before, so it was a great environment to take some risks and try something new. Uh, there was a great support team, and here are the technical directors at the NFB who are helping me trying to figure out a rig so I could animate a light. Um, here are some behind the scenes pictures. As you can see, most of the film was created with just my hands. So some people might think I'm like nuts for working like this, but uh, it really brought me so much joy and I was totally in my element and felt right at home. Uh, so I think I have just enough time to play the film right now. Uh, so it's called Itch and it's an abstract expression of what it feels like to go through an eczema flare-up. Mm -hmm. 